Hi, everybody. I am here to show you, um, especially if you are a teacher during this time of remote learning, how to record a video of yourself using Google Meet. Ironically, I'm actually using Screencastify right now because I can't use Google Meet to record me recording Google Meet. Um, so anyway, I am in the Google Meet screen right now. Let me quickly show you how I got here. Um, so I'm in my Google app. You can do this by, um, by making a new tab for yourself. Next to your picture in the top right hand corner, you can access all of your Google apps. I like to refer to them as a waffle. Um, and if I scroll, I can see here Google Meet. It looks like this icon here. So I click here and I'm brought to the Google Meet screen. It's very simple in the layout. I'm going to join or start a meeting and I'm going to just call this meeting video because I'm making a video. And now I'm joining. Um, I'm not inviting anybody, however, to join with me. So I'm going to click join now. I'm checking out my screen to make sure everything looks okay. Now there are two of me on the screen, which might be a bit confusing to you. Um, I'm clicking join now. And I can either invite somebody to join me by copying the joining info, or I can add people um, all myself by typing in their emails. So I'm going to X out of here. And here I am. Um, I'm going to move myself a little bit here. So I am on this screen on Google Meet and also at the same time on Screencastify. Um, and so I'm going to go to these three buttons down here. I had to have my tech administrator um, unlock this feature on Google Meet. Some of you might need to do that as well. But in more options in the bottom right hand corner of your Google Meet screen, you can click and let me move myself again. Um, and click record meeting. Um, what this does is this saves a file to your Google Drive automatically. It does take a few minutes for the file from your Google Meet recording to save to your Google Drive. It took mine about 10 to 15 minutes and I made videos that were under 10 minutes, okay? So I'm going to click record meeting um, and so then it will start recording and it will ask me if I need to ask for consent. I'm going to accept because I'm asking myself for consent for the meeting. And the recording is starting. It's loading in this left hand corner here. And I'm going to check and see. Okay, now it's recording the meeting. So now there are two of me um, on the screen. If I click present now, then I can present my screen. And this might be helpful for teachers who might want to show a slideshow while they are recording a meeting for students and uploading a video. So if you are a teacher that usually uh, shows your students slideshows or notes, this is a really good feature for you, this present now feature. If you want to show your students um, something else, like I use this feature to show my students how to navigate my new Google Classroom and my expectations for remote learning. So now I'm going to click present now and show you how that works. You can present, this is similar to Chromecasting. Um, for those of you teachers that do Chromecast from your um, laptop to your screen in your classroom. Um, if it's a lot like Chromecasting, you can you can cast your entire screen. Um, that was a tough sentence to say. You can cast your entire screen or just the window. I like to cast my entire screen because I jump around a lot for students. So then I, when I click cast entire screen, I click here and make sure that this is highlighted and it's making sure that I want to cast my entire screen and everything on it. And then I click share. So now Google Meet is sharing my screen and on your side of things now, it looks like you are presenting to everyone, okay? Um, and so I can jump around here and I can present something else on my screen and it will be in the recording. So I have Canva open right now for another video. And when I'm done recording, I need to click, um, I usually like to click stop presenting first but you cannot hang up in the hang up button to save the recording. You have to go back into these three buttons, the more options that I'm highlighting here. And I'm gonna move myself again. And you have to click stop recording in order to save a video recording. Okay, so I'm gonna click that now. Um, that just about wraps up this recording video in Google Meet and I'll see you next time. Bye.